everybody, it's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. How are you doing today? My video today is basically a reaction of my viewers to a video that I made not too long ago talking about how more and more passengers are not getting off of cruise ships at certain ports. <clears throat> to give you a little bit of history here, back in 1970 in Miami, you'd have five cruise ships like this getting loaded up with a total of five to 7,000 passengers. Today, six ships at a time easily being taken care of in Miami up to 30,000 passengers per turnaround. In Fort Lauderdale over here, up to seven or even eight ships in one day can come out of here. You can be handling up to 40,000 passengers a day. This is a whole different business. Look at this picture here. This is St. Martin, beautiful place, but my God, there are six cruise ships in port. We're talking 20,000 passengers that are gonna be in that downtown area. It wasn't built for that. Look here. This is Falmouth, Jamaica. We've got two ships here. Total passenger count could be up at upwards of 8,000 passengers, all getting squeezed into that little area. Here is uh, Oco Rios in Jamaica. Same thing. It's designed to handle passengers, get them on buses, and get them out. If you're on an organized tour, fine. But if you're not on an organized tour, you've got to ask yourself, do I really want to get off these ships at these ports? What will I see? What will I do? Complaints from my viewers run the gamut. But one of the complaints they talk about to me is, you know what, Bruce, I get off the cruise ship, doesn't matter where it is, it can be in Cayman Islands here, like Georgetown, Cayman Islands, I get off the ship in uh, Cozumel, I, I get off the ship in, in St. Thomas, it's the same retailers each and every time. It's the same diamond sellers, the same jewelry stores, the same perfume shops, they've got the same names. It's like I'm in the same shopping mall again and again and again. And the reason for that is, these retailers are paying top dollar to be here to the cruise line and the uh, port uh, facility in rent. They are paying dearly. So passengers then complain, well, if I don't shop there and I want to go for uh, just a sightseeing tour, I can grab my own cab if I want. The problem is which one of these guys is licensed legal and which guy is a fly-by-nighter? I have no idea. There are horror stories of people who have taken cabs gone for rides and have ended up being robbed, have been, uh, you know, been uh, taken to um, obscure places. Uh, other uh, ho horror stories, <clears throat> our passengers are telling me they're going on organized tours only to find out that they're being driven to a flea market somewhere out in the country. They're being dropped off here for two hours at a time and they have to buy something, otherwise they really can't get back on the bus. It really is a, an intimidating thing. Other organized tours, like here in the Cayman Islands, you're going to Stingray City. It used to be cool when there was one or two boats. It's not cool anymore. Now there's 10, 12 boats at a time, hundreds of people in the waters. This is not natural. Uh, here's another problem. We have vehicles in third world countries that are not maintained up to any kind of standards. How do you know when the last time the brakes were checked on this vehicle? Do you know that the person driving this vehicle is licensed to do so? You don't. And there are accidents reported every year by cruise ship companies and this is just causing nothing but headaches, injuries and deaths. And so we come back to the ship itself. My viewers tell me, look, Bruce, why should I get off the cruise ship even if it's in a port of call? If I've already been to uh, NASA four times in, in the last seven years, what is there to see? If I uh, am not going to pay a $200 of expense to take an organized tour and got a family of four, for example, it could cost us $1,000 for the family of four to have a six-hour uh, excursion. Doesn't make sense. Leave the kids in an organized daycare facility that they have on the ship with supervised staff. They'll be kept busy. Mom and dad can head for the spa and unwind. Wasn't that the point of the cruise in the first place was to relax and forget about troubles at home? The other kids, grown-up kids, oh, God, they can have so much fun on this ship. They don't want mom and dad around. They want to be on their own. They got the water slides. They can do the obstacle courses. They've got all kinds of things to do. If mom and dad want to spend time with the kids, play foosball, do the obstacle courses, absolutely. It's all there. It's all on board these ships. These ships never were equipped like this 20 years ago. Now they are from toddlers right up to the teenagers. You got it made. Anyway. This is the reason why more and more passengers are not getting off of cruise ships in growing numbers. They're afraid of assaults, robberies, rip-off tours. They don't want to do this uh, been there, done that routine anymore. They're afraid of the drug dealers in some of these countries, security concerns, and the same retailers at these ports again, again, and again. So that's why more and more of them are staying on the ships, and the ships are 
just perfectly laid out to accommodate your needs for the entire cruise. Join me Monday to Friday, 5 o'clock Eastern, Saturdays at 2. We talk cruise ships six days a week live. We love cruising and we love to compare notes. Subscribe today, give the video a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you later, everybody. Bye for now.